And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the tag team fighting out of the blue corner, the Pineda Coladas. And now, introducing the fighter to my left. He is wearing the white and gold. His official weight of 164.7 pounds. Hailing from Pasco County, Florida, B. Dave, the Crab Daddy! And now introducing his tag team partner. He is also wearing the white and gold. His official weight of 164.4 pounds. Hailing from El Pama, Sonora, Mexico. Luis Pineda! And their opponents across the ring fighting out of the red corner. Tag team Wasabi LMAO. Introducing to you first. The fighter on my right, he is wearing the purple and black. His official weight of 164.4 pounds. Hailing from Los Angeles, Nick LMAO! And his tag team partner, he is wearing the yellow and green. His official weight of 163.9 pounds. Hailing from Angel City, Alex Wasabi! Interesting to see who starts out first Officers for both these teams. On the referee, obey my command at all times. You all know the rules, watch your heads and kick them punches up. When I shout break, you break clean. And remember, defend yourselves at all times. All touch them up, lads, touch them up. Gretchen, we bring up a good point, but me and Nick LMO, we both flew from Los Angeles. I, of course, was in first class, he was in coach. But <laughs> the big question was, is it harder to win or defend as a tag team champion of the world? In my opinion, it's harder to win it. So we'll see which team can really settle down now that the lights are bright. Oh, B Day pulled the swerve on us, Roundhouse. Let's, Let's go. go. He's letting him know he's not scared at the start. Now, guys, we've had some interesting judging, and uh, tag team is especially interesting to judge. So I want to see these guys come in and put a, put a statement oh. on it. Dave likes to start hot, and he's coming out with power punches. Good defense from Nick Lamal right here, you know, cutting his angles, defending his body well. He's oh, and he's out already. And here comes Pineda. When you are the first fight out, the one thing you want to do is set the tone, set the stage. They clearly are doing this. This crowd, three minutes in, is already hyped. Pineda, of course, the professional boxing, boxer rather, quote, in quote, so you expect him to have more talent than Nick Lamal, who's basically a YouTube superstar trying to make ends meet in the crossover boxing scene. It's interesting, like when you look at the different strategies in a fight like this, right? We've already had a tag early, whereas Nick Lamal, he's already a full minute into this fight. No tag from him. So it, it begs the question, you know, do you tag often? Do you try to get a rhythm going? What's the best strategy here? Tags out there, big booze for Alex Wasabi. Let's see if it affects him tonight. He's the fresh fighter, which could be good or bad. He hasn't taken a punch yet, and you don't really settle into a fight until you've taken some shots. Yeah, we talked about the worst. Oh, right and then talks trash. Pineda spits out the metal piece. I don't think he's getting up. Oh, that was a pro move right there. He used the mouthpiece to delay the count. Oh, this is... Interesting. It's gamesmanship yeah. for sure, but the referee hey, wait, Jack, is toca, giving him a few. Toca, 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 toca. No, no, no. He's probably to start. Wow. Hold on a second. The referee's got to get control here. Great strategy. I got to say, the, the ref bought that one hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, that did. was an old school move, and he bought right into it. He didn't even go to a neutral corner. Meanwhile, B. Dave's got to buy some time for Wasabi, who just got put on his backside. Wasabi looking good right now. He's he's doing well. You know, that was a great counter right hand. Good jabs from him early. Wasabi's got a lot to prove tonight, right? Because people, as you can hear, have been talking a lot of smack. So let's see what he's got. 
Somebody better tell him it's not a wrestling match. It's a boxing fight. For B. Dave, I think it's a whatever he wants kind of fight. <laughs> B. Dave with that brawl stop. Just comes. Can stop you shaking his head? No, but you can't get punched and go down. He's claiming he didn't get knocked down. And now B. Dave's gonna tag back in Pineda, who's looking at him like, man, I'm still, I'm still coming off a concussion, kid. Let's go. I'm here for this. Let's go. Two knockdowns in round one. Let's see if Nick Lamau can test Pineda's chin. Nick Lamau really going for that counter left hook. Luis, oh, hey, that's classic Luis Pineda, right? Rubbing the back of his head. You can tell he gets bothered sometimes by big shots. Kind of looks for wildly ways out of situations. He's very experienced in that regard. But big shots coming in early against Luis Pineda. What an opening round in this tag team championship contest. I told you that ain't shit. Well, Coach, what do you make of that first round? Well, I think it's it's a lot better than the first tag team title or one that we saw. But here's the deal. I think that the fighters need to realize roundhouse, you don't want to tag in with 20 or 30 seconds left in the ring. That was a mistake they made the first time around. But I think both guys have had enough action in the first round to be settled in, have a sweat going, and I think they actually will only get better in round number two. Yeah, it's a tough, tough round to judge because, you know, you had a good, clean knockdown on Luis Pineda. Alex Rosabi's was a bit of a slip, but the scorecards don't care about that, right? So it kind of sets to a neutral round. You have to go back and score it based on how the rest of the round went. I I've got it uh, one for um, Wasabi and Nick Lamau. All right, round two, scheduled for four, and as you've seen, anything can happen. Yeah, Grish, you guys bring up a good point. We saw in the, the prelim fights that there was a lot of controversy in those opening matches. Ooh, right hand by Pineda. And you don't want to leave it in the hands of the judges. If you can pull off a, a knockout clearly, that's what you want to do. You got to put a statement on each one of these rounds. You can't make it be any up for debate at all. You need to absolutely put it on these guys. And I'm seeing speed right now. Something I love about tag team is they have the time to recover, and it's just all gas all the time. scored a knockdown it should have been scored a knockdown he was going down and unfortunately wasn't allowed to stay down I think that was a mistake he's hurt he's he should complaining about something hey you should tag his partner in B Dave's right hand is like a magnet to Wasabi's chin right now it just seems like he's got him figured out news flash to the boxers when he get hit in the mouth it hurts He's complaining to the referee about something well he's complaining he got need in the mouth because as they were going down to the mat B. Dave expends a lot of energy in there. He goes for like 30 second bursts. Let's see what happens when he slows down. He worked behind the desk. He did. Nice combination from Wasabi there. B. Dave, he's got to not get ahead of himself. He's got to stick to his fundamentals. B. Dave's got to stop grabbing the head from behind. Wasabi starting to find his range and his combination is there. Big uppercut. Yeah, that'll send B. Dave to the corner. Good right hand sent B. Dave scurrying. He did a good job there, oh. not to not to get hurt. Boys, Pineda wants the other guy. He wants Wasabi. He sure does. Coach knows a lot about uh, people wanting the other guy, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's two for two. Oh, Pineda kind of stumbling around. To be fair, Todd, I'm about 0 for 10 in, in the in the grand scheme of things. Hey, hey, coach is coming and getting me for three don't, events don't walk now. Backwards, own it. <laughs> I respect it. Boy, it has been non-stop action since the opening bell here. Well, we've had three knockdowns. A lot of complaining coming from the team of Wasabi and Nick Lamau. You know, sometimes you just got to focus on the fight, right? People are going to do that. That's fighting. It's not going to be, you know, totally clean all the time. You got to be able to fight through it. You got to stay in the fight, not get too distracted. But can we all agree that every misfits, the fighters clearly are putting in the work. They're not professionals, but they're getting better every single time. This is who Pineda wanted. Now he's got Alex Wasabi. And to build up that coach, they come to fight, right? There's, there's no no fight in these guys. It is great to see. So you got guys.
guys, Chris, that are trying to make a career out of this. When you're a, a pro boxer that comes up from a little kid, Double that's down. what you look right at hand. as your career. Double that's a big right difference. Hand again. Going to the right hand. The right hand. He's probably doing a good job at trying to set traps right now, right? So he's trying to bait in Luis Pineda. Oh! He's not doing great at uh, defending the shots coming in as he's trying to do it. And I don't think that tag will be able to get made as the clock counts down. And that's it for round number two. The crowd showing their appreciation. And we're here ringside, Todd Grisham, the coach, Jonathan Coachman, of course, Roundhouse. I really don't know who's winning right now. It's been exciting to call. We've had so many knockdowns and so many moments of explosion. Who's winning? Well, I, I think right now it, it, you could say it's 1-1 because of all the knockdowns, and it's been different people, so it's really hard to tell. I got to say, too, strategically, it looks like Luis Pineda and B-Dave had it figured out pretty well because, you know, B-Dave got hurt, immediately tags himself out. There's a good timing on it. Whereas when Wasabi and Nick Lamau, they, they get a bit agitated in the ring. They don't use the advantage of the tag team. And I think that comes down to a bit of the experience within the tag team rules. And this is where he's complaining about the knee. And, yeah, knee did land on Alex, but seconds. I don't think it looked intentional. Let's see from this angle here. Caught him with a right hand. Check us out. That right hand looked intentional. This is where if he would have just thrown one punch right there and then backed off, I think that Wasabi would have gone down. All right, so here we go. Round three, we're scheduled for four. Nice right hand for Pineda. They're smothering their punches, Roundhouse. I got to say, too, when in the clinch, they are all fighting in the clinch. They're, they're not just, like, resting in the clinch. When the clinch happens, they're throwing each other off, trying to throw those tight shots inside. It's nice to see. Wasabi needs to remember to actually put his hands up after he throws the punch. That's how he's been knocked down. That's how he keeps getting clocked right in the face. Yeah, he's not keeping a fundamental guard up at all. He's just, you know, kind of using his hands to parry. It's a bit frustrating to see, but stylistically, sometimes that's how people like to fight. Nice body shot from Nick Lamau. Good, good angles made from him there. Yeah, Nick Lamau thinks he's got B-Dave's number. He was calling him out yesterday. Let's see how quick B-Dave tags out. B-Dave has a tendency to kind of come down with his head, and Nick Lamau's doing a good job at reading that uppercut. It's clear to me, though, that at least both of these teams have a strategy. And a few months ago, there was zero strategy between all four. Oh, good body shot from Nick. Oh, oh it's right in the back. And B-Dave right back out. Here comes Pineda, who's been doing most of the work. But you would think, hey, he's the more experienced guy. He's been mm -hmm. training longer. Why not put him in there more? Nice step down oh. from Pineda. Now it's Pineda hitting in the back. That's yeah, a few shots in the back of the head there. Oh, he tagged in back in. Alex Wasabi, the 33-year-old, but he does it with style. 3.3 million Instagram followers for Wasabi. Wasabi seems to do pretty well against Pineda and worse against B. Dave. It's something that's so interesting about these tag teams is, you know, styles make fights, and you gotta have styles and the ability to fight two totally separate fighters in one night. Great right hand, and that sends a Pineda back to the ring. And that's the one thing in this tag team fight that you don't have when it's one on one, that if you take a shot, oh, big combination from Wasabi and B. Dave somehow still on his feet. He just never stops coming forward. Whether that's good or bad, I don't know. We saw Grimace on the face of Wasabi. Normally a nice guy, but it looks like he's ready to get mean in there when those punches start landing. He's starting to find his range. He's starting to find his rhythm right now. I think he's recovered from the earlier shots. Oh, B. Day trying to bite down on that mouthpiece and go guns blazing. Something I absolutely love about B. Davis. He's got one gear, and it's forward at 100%. See, this is what we saw in the first one. As you get deeper into the fight and the guys get more and more tired, you're starting to see quicker and quicker tags. And this will take us to the fourth and final round. You gotta listen and loop the right hand. You're only looking to counter with the check hook. Counter with your right hand. Slip, get to that, get to that side, come over the top with the right hand on that long ass jab. He's winding it up, baby. And you're standing right there. 
And here comes Wasabi. He had a nice little flurry there and then did the same to B. Day. That was Alex Wasabi's round for sure. Yes. Ready? Hey, water, give me some water. Hey, wait. So here's a question I've got. How do you decide who gets to sit on that stool? The last man in, the last man in. The foul was only in for 20 seconds. I, I wish the guys had a little bit more ring awareness as far as the clock is concerned and not tag in with 15 seconds left. I want to see them fight to the bell. Here we go. It'll be Nick Lamau versus Luis Pineda in the final round, and it could all come down to this. Thought it will all come down to this. Close fight to judge so far. Yeah, <laughs> meaning no one's up three nothing. <laughs> oh, big right from Nick. He was there you go. Come at this. Throw them right here. There you go. This has been a very close fight so far. Each guy's have had uh, you know moments, but as, if I was a judge, I wouldn't be having too much fun right now. These ones are especially hard to judge. Pineda looking tentative in there, though. It looks like he's a bit worried about what's coming back at him. Well, the way he got knocked down earlier in the fight, that would make me a little bit hesitant to just walk into any punch. But Nick also looking tentative. Didn't really do too, too much at the start of that round. Yeah, good point. Only two minutes left to work. Well, Wasabi was the star in round three. Let's see if he can pick it up again in the fourth. Now, selfishly, with my ego, if I was in here right now, I'd be finishing the fight. I wouldn't even think about tagging my guy back in. Especially because Wasabi's been doing so well. He's definitely had the better moments at the second half of this fight. I don't know, maybe he just didn't fight as much in the first half and that helped him with the conditioning. Maybe that was their game plan, right, that Nick wouldn't fight as much at the start. But it's hard to tell right now in his last two rounds of Wasabi. All right, so Pineda stays, or comes in. Alex stays in. Alex looked back, though, and thought about tagging in, and it had only been about 30 seconds, but he stayed out. Good call. Right here. Oh, Pineda been setting that one up. You can hear his corner calling for it, and then he just beamed it right up his head. If there are any fighters watching in the back, they need to learn and understand, Chris. Don't turn around. Don't turn your back to your opponent, because they're going to hit you, even though they're not supposed to. They are going to hit you. Final minute of the final round. Tag team titles on the line. Nick Lamau in there right now with Luis Pineda. Who's going to be the hero? We're going to knock down in these last 45 seconds. That's going to be the winner. Yeah. You know, and if I'm them right now, B. Dave style, he comes out and he sprints, right? So give him this last 30 seconds, right? Give him that last sprint. But it's hard, it's hard to tell if it's time. Oh, nice big right hand there from Nick. Oh, he said no, don't bring him in. Interesting strategy. Get in between the tag. 20 seconds left. Let's see if B-Day goes out to blaze of glory here. 20 seconds left in the fight. This, this is when B-Day decides to be tentative. No! Championship match. Way to start the pay-per-view here on DAZN. If your friends haven't ordered, pass the word now. This is just the beginning of what should be an epic night here in Manchester. And you don't be one of the be one of those guys out there trying to, to get it to work and not pay the pay. Just buy the damn pay-per-view, put it on, talk to your friends, and let's have fun all night. Roundhouse, take us through these highlights. It started out like a blaze of glory in round one, didn't it? It did. Honestly, great strategy from both teams. Big knockdowns right away, and I think that set the sta standard, right? All right, maybe we got to slow down just a little bit. But B. Dave had his moments right, right at the end there. He decided to be tentative for the first time in his career, and it really paid him off because he was able to kind of sit down, pick the shot that mattered. Good right straight hand from Luis Pineda. Great combinations from Wasabi. Each one of these fighters had their moments, and that's what's so exciting about tag team. But tough, tough fight to score. What do you guys think? Uh, I tip my cap to all four of them because when you're the first fight out on the main card, it's a very, very difficult place to be. But if, if you told me that this team won, I'd be okay with it. If you told me that team won, I'd be okay well, with it. Well, how about this? Would, would you be okay with a draw? Because that's what I think it's going to be. Well, probably the way I was describing it, yes, yep. I would. But here's the problem. 
The tag team titles are over in the corner. Somebody's holding the belts. Somebody has to walk out with them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the undisputed lightweight king, Devin Haney, is back on the zone. Make sure to tune in to see him attempt to become a two-weight world champion as he faces super lightweight world title holder, Regis Progray, December 9th. What a fight it's going to be live on the zone. I could not be more excited about this fight. Devin Haney is no stranger to misfits boxing as well, but he's one of the great fighters in the world. And to see him fight here on the zone before Christmas, I'm here for it. Well, both teams, Roundhouse, seem to be very confident that they did enough to win. And that's that's a lot of what we saw earlier in the prelims was people, you know, thinking, hey, I, I won that fight. I'm super confident. And then the result going the other way. And that's one of those things where I kept saying it and I'll keep saying it. If you want to win, make there no room for debate. Go out there and put a stamp on it. And you know why these fights continue to get better is because the fighters now are getting three, four, five fights under their name and when you come out the first time and you get hit you're like oh okay but now they understand and i think grisham we're seeing much much better fights and we're going to see this tag team division grow as well nick lamau fights out of singapore there's the mexican luis pineda of course p dave the american wasabi as well from the united states i cannot believe when i was walking around manchester the last 24 hours, how many different people from how many different parts of the country have come here? Parts of the world. Yeah, I mean, that's what I meant. Parts of the world, yes. I mean, it's amazing how excited. They're on sides of buses. They're on billboards. They're on sides of buildings here in Manchester. It's, it's, it's really impressive to see. This isn't one of the biggest boxing nights of the year. This is one of the biggest entertainment events of the year, of the past few years. This thing supersedes the sport because it's so unique and different. Well, the judges obviously having trouble tabulating their scores. They got to figure it out, right? Here we go. Here's us. The four rounds of boxing. We go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Angel Mendez scores the bout 39 37 to the Pineda Coladas. Judge Joel Elizondo scores the bout 39 37 to Wasabi LMAO. Judge Rafael Ramos scores the bout 38 to 38. This bout is a draw. There you go. I called it. There are no losers. Well, that's what they're going to have to understand, that you've got to have a moment. You've got to have maybe a couple of moments that stick out to the judges to give you that edge.